So the scientist I'm gonna talk about is uh, his name is James Maxwell. I'm gonna cover uh, his his early life and also uh, some of his education. So James Maxwell was born in June 13th, 1831. He died in November 5th, 1879. He was a Scottish scientist in the field of mathematical physics. So some of his early lifetime I'm cover is from 1831 to 39. He came from a wealthy family. When uh, Maxwell was um, was young, his family moved to the Glen Lair house, which his parents had built in um, in in an estate of 1,500 acres. His education from 1839 to 47. Until he was the age of eight, his mom uh, basically homeschooled him. On December 1839, his mom passed away from uh, abdominal cancer. And that was a big uh, kind of like turning point in his life. Because his uh, his dad and uh, the dad's sister-in-law uh, basically took over like his education. Uh, so his father in uh, 1841 sent sent James to a, a very pre uh, prestigious house, uh, not house, but an education center, which is called the Edinburgh Academy. He was, uh, he was bullied for years for his accent and his clothing, since he was more like, of a, like a country uh, kid. So in 1847, at the age of 16, and uh, he began attending uh, college classes at the University of Edinburgh, and in 1850, Maxwell was already a very accomplished math mathematician. So he built uh, relationships with two of his best friends that uh, later became to be known as very uh, prestigious also uh, mathematicians. So that covered most of his uh, young life and also some of his education. My name is Victor, and I will be presenting some of the legacies of James C. Maxwell. After his death in Cambridge, England on November 5th, 1879, Maxwell's ingenious work as a mathematician and physicist pioneered and led the way for many of today's technological innovations. In recognition of all of Maxwell's accomplishments, his name was honored in several ways. The three I found interesting were, uh, one, the James C. Maxwell Telescope, which is the largest sub-millimeter wavelength astronomical telescope in the world. Uh, it is located in Manu Key Observatory in Hawaii on a summit 13,425 feet above sea level. With a diameter, diameter of 49 feet, it is used to study distant galaxies and our solar system. The second is the James C. Maxwell Foundation, which main purpose is for charity and for commemorating his work. Uh, nonprofit and voluntary organizations were established in his name to promote, encourage, and advance the study of, research into, and the dissemination of knowledge relating to physics, electronic engineering, and physical chemistry. Many believe the foundation was founded in America, but was actually formed in Scotland in 1977. And in 1993, the foundation was later headquartered at uh, Maxwell's birthplace in Edinburgh, UK. Uh, third is the Maxwell Gap on the Rings of Saturn. The Rings of Saturn had puzzled scientists for years, wondering what the rings were composed of. During his time at Marischal College as a professor, Maxwell came up with the theory that Saturn's, Saturn's rings were made up of particles. The theory of, Maxwell, uh, of Maxwell's was confirmed later in the 20th century by space probes. For this discovery, he received the Atom Prize, which is one of the most prestigious prizes awarded in a society of mathematicians. <clears throat> so again, many of Maxwell's discoveries and inventions were the foundation of much of the modern world's technolog technological innovations and continued to guide scientists and physics well into the next century.